Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and the Commanders just finished their third preseason game losing to the Baltimore Ravens 17 to 15. So in this video, I will be recapping their third preseason game and talking about the players that helped themselves in terms of making the roster and the players that didn't. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. I'm on the road to 9,000 subscribers. Would really appreciate if you guys could help me get there. Also, hit that like button and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. So that's it for the Commanders preseason. And, you know, they finished 0-3. Record doesn't really matter. It is what it is. You know, this game wasn't terrible for the Commanders. Let's, you know, first start off with Sam Howell. Sam Howell went 24 for 35, throwing for 280 yards and one touchdown. Got sacked five times. He also had eight rushes for 62 yards. Overall, I thought Howell had a very very solid performance. I'd probably give him, it's tough. The only knock I had on him was he got sacked a little bit too much. And the offensive line was not helping him at all. But there was time, and he was so, so good at like avoiding the sacks. But there's times where like he avoided the sack by one guy. And then he just tries to do a little bit too much and gets greedy and gets sacked. So like I would say, and Heineke has, does the same thing. Like once you avoid the, you know, the sack the first time, if you don't see anything right away, just throw it away and, you know, you can live with that. But a sack really, really sucks. But, you know, he played really well and his receivers were not helping him at all. Matt Cole on the two point conversion, he dropped that pass on the last play of the game. You know, he, there was some miscommunication, I think, between Hal and Matt Cole, I, I'm probably going to put it on, it's hard to say who, but I'm assuming it's Matt Cole's fault, we'll see though, um, and yeah, so, you know, the receivers did not help him, Deami Brown had two drops, one was like a very easy catch he should have made, I think he was, you know, scared of getting hit, but like, these drops are happening a ton, and you know, in practice, coming out, you know, at UNC this happened last year there was a couple times where it happened and it's already happening this year in the preseason you know other games as well so very very concerning Deami Brown did not have a good game still think he's making the roster of course I mean he's a third round pick this is his second year he's talented like you can see it like he showed way more in his first year than you know AGG did in his first year or even in his second training camp like you can still see like even the one where he dropped he had a great release to get open and had a nice route there as well but you got to catch that you know you got to catch that who knows what he could have gone and the other one he had a drop on you know it would have been a kind of a tough catch but he got you know two hands on it he should have caught that for sure he should have caught that for sure and uh, that could have been a that would have been a touchdown for um, the Commanders, and they could have won the game. They probably would have won the game if that was the case. But I thought Hal played really well today, and I'm happy. You know, Rivera decided to just play him the whole game, give him as many reps as possible. So Hal had a good game. Patterson, like man, Patterson, I just think you know he gets disrespected. Um, like I know there's other running backs that are better than him, but like you could see he was the best running back out there And that's not saying much because Robinson McKissick and Gibson were out and Williams was as well But he had 11 carries for 47 yards and then you look at Reggie Bonifon had 10 carries for 24 yards And Reggie was getting carries before Patterson to me. That's pretty disrespectful. I don't think it's close I think Patterson is much much better than Reggie Bonifon and honestly I think Williams is good, but I would take Patterson over him. I think they're going to keep three running backs, so I don't think it's going to be four, uh, which is unfortunate because I really, really do like Jarrett Patterson. He also had four catches for 45 yards as well. I again, I think he is better. He's their fourth best running. You know, he's the commander's fourth best running back, but I think they have him as a fifth or sixth best guy. Uh, so that is just something that, you know, I don't know. I, I would have him ranked higher than they do personally. Um, you look at Deami Brown, had two catches for 42 yards, had a nice play where he got a 26-yard reception, but also had two drops, which, you know, wipes that out. You can't be having that. Uh, Mark and Michelle, I thought Michelle had a really, really solid game. Three catches, 41 yards, um, you know, got hit on that one, or no, not hit, but like he kept fighting through, made the catch, no one touched him, and he was able to, you know, get some extra yards there. He, you know, was targeted seven times. I'm trying to think if any of them were his fault where he could have caught that, um, but he had a solid game, had some nice blocks as well. Dax Mill went in there, you know, had a good game, four catches um, on four targets. That's what you like to see, efficiency, 37 yards. He had a good game. Matt Cole, 
had the drop and then also the mixed communication at the end, but had a couple nice catches as well. Erickson had a nice catch. Um, he was good five for five in terms of five targets, five catches, 36 yards. And then Reggie Bonafon had a nice touchdown grab where it was obvious as a touchdown. They didn't call it. And then Kendall Bland recently signed tight end had a nice catch as well. One thing we, the commanders way, way, way too many penalties by them. I mean, I, I don't know how many it was, but it was t way too many, especially on the offensive line. John Toth had like two or three false starts. Chris Paul had one. Other guys has had uh, some as well. There was holding penalties, just way too many penalties um, for the Washington Commanders today. And um, yeah, it was just it was tough to watch. It made the game longer than it should have been. And yeah, it just it you know hurt the drives. It hurt the the drives for sure. Like they were at the one yard line, maybe the two yard line on a third and goal. And then they do a, you know, John Toth has a false start and they end up only, they have to settle for a field goal. That can't happen. And it did. So that was unfortunate there. Um, but the offense overall was okay. The penalties though really, really did kill them and prevented them from scoring, you know, more than 15 points. And I'm trying to see anyone else that stood out. You know, offensive line wasn't great today. I thought Chris Paul at times was solid, but of course at other times, you know, struggled a little bit. Um, but, you know, they're all backups, you know, third stringers uh, for the most part. So kind of to be expected. So now on the defense, defense played pretty well, in my opinion, except for a couple like really bad plays. Christian Holmes was OK. Um, you know, he did get beat a few times. Jeremy Reeves had that really, really nice uh, tackle for the uh, for loss in the backfield, uh, you know, just blew up the running back. That was good. I thought, you know, Milo Eifler had a nice play. Corn Elder, I'm trying to think. He it says he has a you know had a TFL, but I also remember him getting beat one time. Fraud Gardner had a nice tackle. Kalik Hudson also had a nice tackle. Justin Hamilton, uh, number 79, huge guy on the defensive line. He's flashed a couple times for me. Like I think they'll keep him on the practice squad. Uh, I I can't remember what it was, but I know he had a good play. And then also you remember the Carolina Panthers game. He had he forced a fumble on a sack, but then it came back because of a I think a BS penalty or something from Jeremy Reeves but he's flashed for me Jamin Davis you know he was one of the only starters there that actually played he was pretty good he only he played a couple possessions but he had a nice tackle for loss and I don't know I, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Jamin Davis and I'm excited to see what he can do this year for the commanders because he did not play well last year at all and you know if he does play well this year That'll be a huge, you know, benefit for the commander's defense because they didn't make too many changes to the defense, but he could be a big change for them. Danny Johnson got absolutely burnt by whoever number 10 was from the uh, Ravens. I forgot what his name was. Had a huge day. He got burnt. Uh, Danny Johnson got burnt by him. Percy Butler also, you know, struggled a little bit on that play, but that was mostly Danny Johnson. From what I've seen, Danny Johnson has been awful every preseason game, especially the first preseason game and this one he just has not been good so i f if it was me if it was up to me he wouldn't be on the roster you know just put in you know what's it called christian holmes and someone else maybe corn elder but they don't have great options but that's a position i would consider getting someone from the waiver wire because i think they need some depth there maybe you can get a veteran that was in your system before um, Jane Smith Williams played didn't really notice much from him I'm trying to think of any other guys that popped out to me Benjamin St. Juice played which you know interesting right there didn't see much from him uh, like in terms of like I didn't notice him you know too much on the field which is a good thing if you're a corner talk about Percy Butler had that one uh, miss but he also had a nice special teams tackle or he helped there Matt Cole you know kick return nothing there one for 15 Alex Erickson was okay as a punt returner Three returns for 39 yards. Dax Mullen had one as well. And then kicking, Joey Sly, three for four, you know, missed the first field goal. And, you know, if he would have made that, maybe they win the game. You know, of course, they would have had 18 and the Ravens scored 17. But who knows, you know, the Ravens might have played things differently um, if he would have made that field goal. A lot of people, in my opinion, are overreacting a little bit. You know, he, you know, saying, you know, Oh, you know, we're back to terrible kicking. It's one kick, guys. He missed one kick. And yes, he did miss an extra point before, but I don't think it's as a bit, you know, a you know, huge deal like other people do. 
we'll see when it comes to you know actual real games see what happens um, but 3-4 isn't terrible uh, you would like to see him make all of his kicks though so that is a situation to monitor but I don't think it is that alarming yet um, Tressway had a good game three punts 163 yards average 54.3 yards per punt he's you know yeah we know what Tressway is two inside the 20 and then uh, kind of guys that you know I think Dax Milne had a good game I think he's making this roster so I think he's going to be the sixth receiver on the roster you got Terry Curtis Jahan Deami Brown Cam Sims and Dax and then after that it's going to be a question of do they keep Alex Erickson or not because it's kind of seeming like Antonio Gibson is going to be their kick returner. So are you really going to keep one guy just to be the punt returner when I think Dax Milne could do it just fine? So I don't know. It's going to be interesting. That's going to be that's still one of the roster questions. I think Ron Rivera said something like five to seven roster spots were in play tonight. So, you know, let's see. Who, you know, we'll see. The rosters are due Tuesday. So Tuesday is going to be a big day, a lot of things happening. We'll have updates throughout the day for you guys on that day. And tomorrow I'll probably have a stock up, stock down video. And then also I'll have a video in the future on a roster projection, 53-man roster projection. It's going to take a while, but I'm going to try to do it soon. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and peace.